It's the trial that has gripped the imagination of residents in the Western Cape. One of the Cape's most beloved sons, Tully Peterson, murdered in his own home. His family has religiously attended court proceedings. His father, Muhammad Ladin Peterson, the family patriarch, longing to see justice served. The two alleged hitmen in the murder, Jefferson Snyders and Wahid Hassan, have admitted they should have done more to prevent Ali Peterson's death. Hassan lamented if he'd only left the house with a firearm, Nadra Peterson would not have been able to grab the gun and pull the trigger. Peterson and accused too, Abdur Emjedi, deny involvement in the crime. The widow's dress sense received almost as much attention as her defence. Peterson called her son to testify. He said he heard his mother being locked in her room before the shot was fired. She also called in a pharmacist who said she may have done things that night without recalling it the next morning because of the cocktail of drugs she was on. Her defense team has had their work cut out for them. The young instructing attorney Riaz Khan leading his much older advocate Johan Engelbrecht. They've tried to discredit her co-accused Hassan and Snyders, accusing them of adapting their testimony and trying to minimize their involvement in the murder. Those in the public gallery have been quick to judge Peterson. But ultimately it's Judge Shiraj Desai and his two assessors who will determine the fate of Peterson and the men she shares the dock with. Liesl Smith, Eyewitness News, Cape High Court.